If you follow the coast of Maine, going north along Route 1, you come to a small town where fishermen are busy catching lobsters. And students are hard at work catching light. We're at the Maine Photographic Workshops in Rockport. Stella Johnson has been documenting cultures in Africa, Mexico, and Central America. I went into this village, San Bartolo Coyotepec, where they make the famed black Oaxacan pottery, and I saw a woman in the backyard making pottery, and I went right up to her and I said, you know, I want to take pictures of Mexican women in villages, and I want to do a book a project on this, and can I photograph you? I came back the next day, and 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 I was there for three weeks. And at the end, we all cried when I left. In all her pictures, she says there is one basic element. Love. <laughs> Something about the human condition. But I mean, in one word, love. It's got to have a moment, it's got to have a frame, it's got to be well composed, but it's got to have some strong emotion, and usually that's love. And it talks about being a human being. I look for a, a, a sort of a collective human quality. Try to. That's what I try to go for. It takes a long time to get there, though, and I'm not always successful at it. There was one or two situations I knew. Oh, perfect light, beautiful people, every, all the interaction. Oh, I'm going to get a great picture of nothing. Nada. Zero. Zip. Failed. Other times, I will have walked into something, I shoot the picture, and I know immediately that I got it. So it's, it's a crapshoot. But sometimes, it's only the passion for her work that sustains her. I, I'm always questioning myself, what am I doing here? What, you know, I can't believe I'm here. Another week of 100 degree heat and the stinking heat and there's no, I mean, place to really bathe that's absolutely clean and uh, I question my sanity daily. Stella's subjects aren't just good pictures, they become good friends. I send letters when I can, I send photographs. Um, I love my people and that's why I go back and back and back. That Mexico project is finished but I go back every single year. I spend Christmas with one of the families and or Easter. Stella's interest in documenting other cultures started with looking at her own roots. What happened was when I was uh, um, 18 I went to Greece for the summer to study my heritage because I'm Greek and I had a little Instamatic camera with me and I traveled all over the country photographing people and I didn't even know what I was doing. All I knew was I saw those faces and I had to have them and I saw these funny houses and this is harsh sunlight and it just like was like wild and so I, I came back to the US and was like oh my god I saw the film and it was you know crappy Instamatic photography but then I was hooked. It would be 15 years later, after earning a living as a corporate and magazine photographer, that she would get back to the work she loved. Her first assignment, Oaxaca, Mexico, then on to Cameroon, West Africa, then to the Mosquito Indians of Nicaragua. In between, she manages to teach. She's at the main photographic workshops in Rockport. Her students learn about the challenges 
and the joys of documentary photography. What's curious is you got it, you nailed it in the second shot. You have some instinct that's happening here. She's talked to us so much about uh, layering, and so the complexity in her images is just um, awesome. And you can do it. Expensive. You can do it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the idea is to, um, in that situation, it's a portrait, and you pick the background, so mm -hmm. you can help yourself with the background. Here, you're not picking your background. This right. is a documentary, so you right. have to go with right. the flow. You can't tell him where to go. Right. But can't wait for him to walk by a nice wall. No. No, unfortunately. But if you stay with him long enough, you will. Yeah. This is the okay. thing, you know, that time about, you know, spending a lot of time with people, the five hours, yeah. you know. Um, it's nothing. I love coming to the workshops because they're very, very visually sophisticated people. People really appreciate photography. They love it. And um, it's the most nurturing place I've been in my 20-year career in photography for photography. In August this year, Stella Johnson embarks on her next project, a Fulbright Fellowship to work in Mexico. I am photographing Mexican graffiti artists slash gang members who have taken on the culture of cholos like from LA street gangs. I'm going to go in hopefully behind the scenes and photograph their daily lives for four months and then in another four months I'm going to go into um, an Indian village where these um, same anthropologists are introducing their uh, environmental programs so it's a way that globalization is polluting Mexico, or how we are in the first world, although on the one hand, you know, environmental programs is not such a bad thing. Neither is graffiti art, as long as it doesn't include violent activity, and I'm not quite clear on if that's happening or not. I'll find out when I get there. So I'm very, very excited about that. And from there, I'm jumping on a bus, and I'm going back to the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua. Not in an urn, either, <laughs> with my cameras. <laughs> and I, I, I intend to continue that project. And I am going to do it until I can't stand up anymore. It's the thing that drives me. You know, um, I'm a little bit obsessed about it. <laughs> so I don't know how good that is. It's not such a good thing. You know, a little balance might be useful. But I love it. And, I, you know, I eat, breathe, drink, think about it. Por el cuello el obrero, con que el águila daba, por el cuello el obrero. Se ha prendido la hierba dentro del continente, las fronteras se besan y se ponen ardientes. Me recuerdo de un hombre que por esto moría y que viendo este día como espectro de monte, jubiloso regía. Where would you like the ashes to be scattered? <laughs> Good question. Well, since Nicaragua is my latest project and I was on the water there, man, it's got to be off one of those dories, you know, one of those handmade boats, man, with the black uh, plastic uh, sail. And I'll have dangerous Daniel, who is all of 11 years old right now, but he every day he'd say to me, Stella, I'm a dangerous guy. And I'd be like, okay, Daniel, one of these days maybe you will be. We'll have Danielle scatter my ashes. How's that? <laughs>